first time at the gym, doing squats, post hemorrhoidectomy. So we'll just see how it works. Good morning, guys. So today we have oatmeal. We have a pup. We have, oh, Andrew, but you can't really see him, but he's there. Where you at? <laughs> I got contacted by my doctor, so I can fill you guys in real quick. So it was this video. So that day we ended up going to the doctor because I had to have a, um, what is it called? Ultrasound, pelvic ultrasound, because I started having pain. It was lasting for about a week and it was on my left ovary. So I got a little concerned because it was super, super painful. So it just stayed like that for, like I said, about a week. Hardcore pain was like maybe five days or six. It lasted a long time. I didn't see relief till like the last few days. Um, so then I went, I called my doctor, I did a telehealth and she's like, Hey, you know what? I'm going to do a urine test for you to make sure you're not pregnant. Not nah. check blood work to see if you had any infections. I didn't. And then, um, she's like, okay. And lastly, we're going to do ultrasound to make sure that you're okay. So I went to the ultrasound and it was curious cause the technician, she's, they're not supposed to say anything. So I'm gonna keep it under wraps um, where I went, but um, you know, she was looking at it and she's like, yeah, I could see a little cyst and then it could be that you have P PCOS. So I was like, oh, okay. Cause she's like, are you sure you haven't been tested for it? I'm like, no. And so I'm like, okay. So she kind of showed me a little bit. She's like, but take the medical, take the doctor's uh, POV, you know, more than mine. This is just what I'm observing. Usually there's 25 like little bumps yeah, more than that, then usually you are a PCOS individual, right? So I was just kind of like, okay, like I'm calm because I, I thought it was a cyst. Cysts are pretty normal, ovarian cysts. Um, it's just to make sure that they're not um, any malignant or anything. So that's, you know, usually most women don't feel it um, or don't really it doesn't cause them enough discomfort where it's just like kind of a little bit of a dull pain and then it goes away and over a month or two it it kind of like does, takes care of itself pcos can lead to like has other issues other hormonal issues um some infertility issues but the majority of women who do have that uh are still able to have a child if they have a somewhat regular period so i have irregular periods but it's usually the the only way I managed to control it was actually when I went to the gym and I lost a bunch of weight. I'm not lying. <laughs> like it's a it was truly like okay now I see it. So that's I would get super regular periods. I'm not uh, knocking myself down too much though because um, when I was like in college and all that you know I was busy doing other things. So I'm like okay fine. I'm not gonna crucify myself. But over time it has gone more frequent. So that's why I'm like. I don't know if it's just over time it got more comfortable and it's like hello every month or um because now it's kind of like one month i get it one month i don't so tmi but that's why you're you're here, you're, you're here to have a word with me that being said um i got the call and she was like hey first of all you're fine you don't have pcos i'm like oh my god I, I was really relieved. I mean, I was already in my brain. I'm like, okay, well, you know, if it is, you know, let me hear solutions. Like, I'm not going to dwell on feeling upset about it. And also the... the outdated. Who's outdated? Huh? Andrew's in class, so I'll, I'll wrap it up because I thought he was talking to me. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, so it turned out that I am okay. So that is good. Um, the cyst will go away in like a month or two. So that's good. So other than that, then yesterday we ended up getting a gym membership. Oh, that's another thing I asked my doctor. I was like, Hey, um, if I'm, if I want to go to the gym, should I get an antibody test? Because I never got COVID, but people around me got COVID. So, and she's like, honestly, you could have just not gotten it. You know, you guys were, were clean, clean enough and like. Uh, separated enough where you just didn't get in i'm like that's weird but okay not that i'm like wanting to but 
it's just really weird but i did feel like poop um new year's new year's eve and uh until like the second of january i was kind of feeling a little poopy so unless i got it then i don't know but i mean we're still wearing a mask still being clean and cleanly um but yeah um she basically said that she doesn't recommend the antibody test because the information is very insufficient to see if it's not catching the antibody for like a flu you know so it, I, I didn't know that and i was like oh dear and she's like yeah the media is really inflating that but because like, she's more science-based so she's like there isn't enough evidence to prove that if that's accurate um so she said my best bet because i told her i want to get back to going to the gym and i know we have the home gym but it's just we want the other machines and just kind of getting away from the house for a little bit you know what i mean so it's kind of like we we go work out and then come back you know kind of giving it a little bit of normalcy i know i don't know if that's selfish of us um it's right down the street so it's not too bad but uh, uh it's outdoor has until i mean it's literally outdoor so um and it's pretty big and it has all the machines so uh the we called to re reenact our gym membership so that's good so um and i told my doctor i was like so would that be okay she's like yeah honestly just really two masks keep keep try to keep everything clean wear a fanny pack i'm like i'm way ahead of you so we're gonna see how that goes i have to go shortly in like five minutes so i will record from over there if it's safe to do so so i'll show you guys a little bit but i'll finish this let it settle go over there hit it hard hit it semi hard because i don't want to hurt myself i'm gonna warm up at home and then by the time I get over there, I'll be fine. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't think in a million years I thought I would be working out in a garage. This is the gym right now. I'm feel mad. shower and it felt good to be back at the gym so will I be back probably so but it was fun so because people still didn't um clean up their area so I was like double cleaning um but all in all it felt good I hit my workout finished sorted out the parking situation because it's a little bit tedious and had a good time. It was pretty easy. And I showed them my time. Well, we have reservation and then they scan it and you're good to go. So it was honestly very easy. This one missed me. My hands are clean. I wash them. But still, it's still, you have to lick them, huh? Um, I got to go take a shower, wash my hair. And yeah, there were people there that weren't cleaning up after themselves, so I had my little uh, alcohol spray, so I did that, but it's just like, come on guys, clean up. I know we're all trying to work out, but clean up. Anyways, then we'll shower, then eat, then uh, edit, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, it's like a breath. Like, okay. I know. And then <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> what up y'all? I am doing some RGM stuff and Andrew is taking an exam. I am going to make I'm currently typing up um, 
uh, videos, video ideas. I wrote some down, but I'm typing it up so I can have it here on my computer. Usually I just do it through notes as well on my phone, but the content here, it's, it's pretty much random. Sometimes I want to do makeup. Sometimes I want to build projects. Sometimes I just want to vlog. Well, most of the time I, I, I vlog. Sometimes I'll throw in my plants too, but that's just the reality of this channel. Or we'll talk about personal things like the hemorrhoids or we'll talk about like the fitness journey which i know i mentioned it before but i also want to tell you guys how that's going because i'm really excited about it so by the time you're seeing this i should be well into like the second week of working out so i'm very excited i want to get some results before my birthday which is in april and andrew's birthday is in march so we're gonna Go ahead and see we kind of made like a little couple's goal for for ourselves by our birthdays so it's cheesy but it's cute and it's cool because i love supporting him and what he does and he loves supporting me and we fell off the wagon because of covid and everything uh but we're gonna get back there guys so just gonna be positive if you hear the crunching that's lady bell eating which i will not interrupt because as you guys know or saw in my other vlog she's a picky puppy so I'm sorry about that, but also not sorry. RNG, we're gonna have to postpone it, but I am doing some like testing on some sweaters and some shirts. So, I mean, that's going good so far. I found one that is really good to my liking. So what I'm trying to do is I am going to wear them to see the durability, to see how it feels, to see if there's things that I hate. You'll probably hate too, you know? So, so far it's good. We got one down. Um, we got other stuff that I want to make, but we're taking in pieces at a time. So like I said, the other amount that I had uh, or the other manufacturer that fell through. So we're looking for another one, but it's just going in bits and pieces. So I'm not, I'm not going to kill myself over it. Obviously, I'm not going to give up, but it's going to take some time. So with that being said, I'm going to finish typing this up. And then I gotta go get my laundry, which I have like uh, 15 minutes. And then put that in the dryer. Adult, cook some dinner later. And I will see you guys either in my next video or this evening. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you in the next video. And I hope you're well. Bye. So much she ate. Two bowls of fresh water because she's she's just picky. And here she comes. Sit, Lady Bell. Siéntate, sit, siéntate, sit. We're trying to teach her Spanish, but <laughs> I don't think it's working. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. So today it is Friday, and I am going to the gym. So yesterday I was feeling kind of pms -y, wasn't feeling too good, so I didn't work out. But I'm going to work out today and tomorrow, starting with a three-day split, then uh, including cardio on the days that I'm not working out. So slowly but surely we're getting there. My chinny chin chin has gone down significantly, so that's always good. Um, my arms feel a lot better, so slowly but surely, we will get to the goal. So, right now I'm just going to go get ready. I'll record a little bit, and today I am doing upper lower push. Yep, so we'll go ahead and do that. This is bad bag school. Really gloomy. I really don't want to, but I'm I'm gonna go do it. <sighs> I literally am going out like this. Um, but it's okay. So, um, I just wanted to say hi guys. Good morning. Uh oh, there's something in my eyes, oh, probably lady bills here. Oh god, I, oh god, and then I put antibacterial on my hand. Okay, hi guys. So I'm at the gym. I'm at the squat rack, so I'll try to get some video so we can see together and I can look back on this, how it's working out first time at the gym, doing squats, post hemorrhoid, hemorrhoidectomy, so we'll just see how it works.
I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to 20, nothing crazy because I don't wanna burn myself out. I feel good, I mean, I feel a little bit of soreness, but that's just the bathroom. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna talk to you guys in a bit. I gotta hurry this one up.